what's going on people yeah happy weekend and it's a happy friday hey we at the end of this month but know what let's get down to what i'm saying that other stuff ain't important but yeah it's uh my wrestlemania preview wrestlemania 28 preview i usually do this on sundays the day of the thing before it starts the show before the show starts, I mean, I'm saying the wrong things in the wrong order. Sorry about that, but, um, since, but, uh, I think I got my stuff down together. You know what? What I'm like, what I'm on, don't matter. Alright, I'm going to start it off with the, uh, 12, 12-man 12 tag or whatever. Shoot, that's really too many guys. But, uh, but, uh. Should it like be an eight man or ten man, but whatever, whatever it is, it's just what it is. But uh, this is how it's gonna go. Yeah, we got Team No Johnny Ace against Team Long, Long Speak guys. But Johnny Ace guys has more world champions, while Long guys only two world champions. Yeah, I believe it's two little champions. Yeah, hold on. Let's see your song. Santino Ryder. Buffy Bray Kali Arthur. Well, actually, it's three little champions, but not. But one of them not from the. Then winning in WWE. Yeah, the first black NWA champion, our truth. So, so Long got three world champions, while Johnny Ace got some. Four world champions. No, I was kind of glad to see uh, Miz and uh, Drew McIntyre involved in WrestleMania. Though I really don't like the Miz all too much. But uh, I hate Christian had injured, but uh, that shit just happens. Maybe when he gets back, he's going to try to get back at CM Punk for injuring him or whatever. That would be a very good idea, but uh, on for that match. But, no, Johnny Ace, I can find him entertaining. It will be good for him to win the run both shows. But I believe Fear alone is going to take it. Reason being, Johnny Ace got to the spot in the back office. But um, before he became the general manager of Raw, he had the spot and he was all on TV and stuff. So I still think that's how it's going to be. So I got to go with um my boy T Long. Yeah, and plus he has a son. I like her. Hey, one always want to be a white woman that looks like that. But uh, all right, let's move on to the next shit. Another celebrity match. My girl, my new girl Eve, and Beth Phoenix versus Kelly and uh, Maria. Mas yeah, I'm going with the um fan favorites in this because WWE don't let celebrities lose state matches. Yeah, with her pin in the Eve. She ain't gonna pin the women. I mean, the Divas champion the second time. That's all that it is, too. We got Cody Rhodes against the Big Show. So, let's, let me explain this. Now, Cody Rhodes. I really don't. He's a great and all that. But, uh. But, somehow I don't see him defeating the Big Show. For some reason, how huge the Big Show is, look like Big Show is gonna squash his ass. Man, or right, then again, they may let Big Show take the Intercontinental Title and have Cody Rhodes move up to something else. Or something, something. Uh, for some reason, I think uh, the Big Show's gonna, gonna probably do the right thing and let Cody Rhodes get this win. For some reason. Some way, somehow. That's just my thought on it. Alright then. We got another one. No, oh, I'm going. Hold on now. What else we got? Yeah, Sheamus against Brian Danielson. Last year, this was supposed to happen for the U.S. title, but they got thrown under the, um, in the dark match. Or in a battle royal with um, Great Khali winning that one. Not a nice new year. The dip, 
the roles are reversed and this time it's for the championship no it's over for D. Bryant it's over for him Shame's gonna be the champion haters will love it three times but it really should be two times cause um uh, when he won it from John Cena back in 2009 that was too early but um uh, that's but um that's not important Shame is going to be the three time world champion. That's all there is to it. And then, yeah, yeah we got Kane versus Randy Orton. Shoot, I would like for Kane to win, but um, they going to let Randy Orton have this one. This is a pointless storyline. Because, uh, uh, yeah, identity crisis and all that. So, you know what, I'm just saying, let, have, let's have Randy Orton win, though. I would like the camp to win, but I don't see that's going to happen. Then we got the match that we got, that most of everyone's looking forward to, really, not the two main events. It's um, the championship match. We're going to see who's the best in the world. It's either see my nigga CM Punk or my other dog, Chris Jericho. You know what? Shoot, I feel like, no, I'm going to have to go with Chris Jericho on this one. But uh, Chris Jericho, they're probably going to feud for some old months and all that. So I'm going to go with Chris Jericho. <sighs> yeah, yeah, like I did, I just predicted uh, both world types are going to change hands. Like it did in 2005 when they went Hollywood. Yeah, and that's another one of my favorite manias, Dawson. Then, and I'll hear it, and then the Intercontinental title is going to be defended too. For the first time in like two years or three years. And then, what else is in there? Yeah, that's right. Hell in the Cell. Undertaker versus Hunter Hearst Hemsley. But HBK is the riff. And other than that, uh, the attitude era, or an era, whatever you like to call it. Yeah, it's gonna go like this. No, shoot. I would say this. No, Undertaker's gonna take this one. Shoot, I don't think, uh, but uh, when, they was, when I was hearing about HBK gonna be the referee for this, I'm like, something's telling me they're gonna screw the taker. Cause they're buddies now. It ain't like it was back in uh, the early 2000s with Triple H and Marcus. They're friends again. <laughs> but um, shoot, I didn't want this match to happen. But when they made it hell in the cell, I said, let's do the damn thing. And how? And this gotta be the, like the hell in the cells, like it was in the late 90s and early 2000s. It don't need to be like the Ellen Cells they have. They have these days. And then. What else? But, um. But, uh, I don't think Triple H is gonna, um, feed, feed off his ego and end the streak. That'll be jacked up to do. Yeah, but, um. If he was. But um, you know what? That's just the end of it. And then after that, he just said, you "Know what? Undertaker, you're the better man. No one, no one can beat you at many. You, no one can end your streak. That's just gonna have to be some shit that's gonna be accepted." Then we have the main event. Yeah, I want. I am Team Brigid all the way. But uh, though I'm no fan of Cena, but I ain't no typical Cena. But I am. One, like one of those typical fans who hates John Cena. I just got grew bored of him since 2000, since the end of 2008 Survivor Series when he came back to win. I mean, when they announced he was going to face Jericho for the title of Survivor Series 2008, that's when I grew bored of him. But I ain't like the typical fans like, you suck, you suck, and if he wins, we ride type of shit. I just don't. You know, I admire his um, personality in real life. And all that, yeah. Sometimes I do this, like what he be doing, and I'm, like the Marines and shit. Yeah, he had me doing that for real. But um, 
I'm gonna have to take the rock, rock set for this one. Well, not. I mean, his side for the win, though. I want him to win, but um, really, he ain't. He's gonna have to do the right thing and let Cena win, just like Hulk Hogan had to do the right thing with um, with uh, with the Rock, and just like Andre the Giant had to do the right thing with Hulk Hogan. But, uh, actually, Hulk Hogan had to, did the right thing three times when it came to passing torch. It was first with the Austin Warrior, then Bill Goldberg. Yeah, and that's still my favorite episode of Nitro. Don't care what nobody say though. I still say it was a bad choice to give that away on free TV. And he did it with The Rock. The right thing's gonna have to be done. The Rock ain't got nothing to lose. Seeing that he's still, he's still in this business. Though, I think he's pretty much established himself at a young age. I guess he still got some more to prove, but The Rock, he's for real, for real, ain't got nothing left to lose. Though I won't rock the win, the right thing has to be done to let Cena win. I know this is going to create a lot of con well not controversy, but um, people's going to be upset about this and this is the rock hometown anyway. Anyways, with that, but um, after that it's going to be yo, but um, after that, I would like to see a rematch with rock winning. Then a possible tiebreaker with Rock winning that to see that showed it on. Um, the Rock is always better than Cena. Hey, I say that's what I like to be done. Yeah, a rematch, like a rematch later on in the year, like at SummerSlam. Then sometimes after that, a tiebreaker that'll be great. But um. Uh, I hope this WrestleMania t turn out to be great, though. I still say it ain't worth my money. I'm not buying it. I'm gonna watch it some other way. Cause last year they let me down. Yeah, for obvious reasons. That's why I didn't do a review or nothing else on it. And a uh, preview of it. But after that, after that, it's silver with. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this. I'm gone for today.